Now this is question number six. Uh, you should do question number five by yourself and show me when tuition restarts. Your tuition will restart very soon. Um, question number five is easy. Uh, use some concept. Nothing new there. Okay. Okay. Now in question number six, in the given figure, A C equal to A E, A B equal to A D, and B A D angle B D equal to angle E A C. Show that B C equal to D. Okay. Here we don't need to show that this triangle is going to this. First of all. Here we have to show B C equal D. Okay. See, uh, diagram is this one, and I mark this bar bar dash here. Like A B, uh, in between A B we have one bar A D one bar. That means they are equal. A B equal to A D. You see in question A B equal to A D. Yes. Then here I have given two bars uh, between A E and A C. That means A C equal to A E. You can see here. Here. Okay. Now finally, angle BD equal to angle AC. BAD. You see, I've given one angle there, bigger one. BAD. Okay. The next angle EAC. EAC. That smaller one. Okay. All right. So here, given you can write uh, whatever is given question, and to prove basically the proof. Look. Uh, to prove basically the what is this BC and D? Are they triangle or sides? BC and D, you see? What is BC and D? They are sides. And we cannot give side directly like alternate angle, vertical opposite angle like that. Uh, we don't have any fixed rule for side. They actually comes only when there is uh, some triangle specificity. Okay. So, what we'll do? Probe. When we do probe, we'll take only angle part. You see, uh, out of these three given one, which one is angle? Angle BD, angle AC. See, angle BAD equal to angle EAC. See here, probably in diagram. B, BAD, this one. Okay. Then D, uh, sorry, EAC, EAC. That means, first of all, this one, then this one. Actually, here they have given equal, so we can give like this equal size. Okay, BAD equal to ESC, BAD equal to ES. Okay, then um, so this BAD and ESC, these angles are given. See properly, BAD that means this is under this triangle. The next EAC, this whole triangle. Now you see some uh, triangle, or in between there is one triangle which is left blank till now. So what will you do? You see properly what is given. BAD given, EAC given. BAD, this one, EAC, this one. Now this is blank, this one, middle one. So what will you do? Angle BAD plus DAC. Angle BAD plus DAC. That means that blank one we have added with this one. Okay. Next, or right hand side we have angle EAC. EAC plus DAC. DAC. That means what we did. We have added DAC to both sides. This DAC. We have added this angle to this one and this one. Okay. And next. Angle BD plus angle DAC. You see in diagram. BAD DAC. What will we get? You get this. Uh, I should not say this one. This is very easy. I have told you how to add figures. This is just, you have just have to use common sense. No knowledge required here. Just common sense. If we join one half appeal with another half appeal, you will get one full appeal. Just like that. BAD then DAC. You add them, you will get something. Similarly, if you add EAC and DAC, you will get something. Okay. That one you will write here. Okay. Then uh, what you can do? Now in triangle ABC and ADE, which triangle I've chosen? I won't say uh, what you'll get here, but you have to find out that one. Actually, you are getting uh, some triangle which we'll be taking here. Okay. So in triangle ABC and triangle AD, AB equal to AD, that was already given. AB equal to AD, that was already given. So you can write here. Given. Angle BAC equal to DAE, not given. 
so I don't know what to write s equal to a e this was also given so given one I have written but angle one you see here which angle was given b a d equal to e a c but I am not writing this one here so I did something with these two and I what I did I added d a c and you will get something okay that's something you read there and here you can do um, from one I have written from one that means uh, we have got this three and side side angle so side angle side and I told you whenever into triangle is going to grand side always become equal so basically the simplicity look this part I am not writing this is for you add this one and this one you'll get something this one and this one you'll get something and after getting something you give this as equation one okay so that's all for this uh, question all right uh, remaining questions five will do and seven and eight uh, they are not very much important but uh, we can talk about that when class restarts they're not important like these questions like whatever i've done till now okay so do them uh, i mean five do five and show me when class restarts thank you